The stalking of celebrities is something that is almost as old as the idea of celebrity itself and was very prevalent throughout the 20th and into the 21st centuries. While the majority of celebrity stalkers are just overzealous fans looking for a glimmer of attention from their biggest idols, some of these circumstances can swerve into more deadly territory. I'm Think So Joe, this is Things You Might Not Know, and today I'm going to tell you about one of the more bizarre stalking cases in rock and roll history that left one legend of punk and heavy metal more confused than scared for his life. Glenn Allen Anzalone, better known to you and me as Glenn Danzig, was the original lead singer of the legendary hardcore punk band The Misfits from 1977 till approximately 1983. After disbanding the original Misfits lineup due to growing tensions within the band and Glenn's need to expand his musical horizons, Glenn's next band, Sawin, released a couple of albums and an EP. Despite being described by many as musically superior to The Misfits, this band failed to gain a foothold in the industry at the time. In 1987, after gaining a working relationship with the incomparable Rick Rubin, Sawin eventually started going by Danzig. While I would love to continue to list off all the historical points of Glenn Danzig's legendary 40 plus year career, that's not what this episode is about. If you want me to do a career biography, let me know in the comments. Hell, while you're there, why not just drop other ideas you may have for a future episode of things you might not know? On Halloween night of 2005, Danzig was scheduled to perform at the Gibson Amphitheater in Hollywood, not far from where he lived at the time. Still at home preparing for that evening's performance, Glenn noticed that someone was able to get through the perimeter and onto his lawn, which prompted him to call for help. Per his then bodyguard, Russ McKay, Glenn called me and told me there was some weirdo trying to smash into his gate. When McKay arrived mere minutes later, the invader was still present and hiding in a bush on the property. When the stalker knew the jig was up, they bolted, with Russ McKay chasing not too far behind. The stalker was able to outrun the bodyguard, but left behind some evidence that was, for lack of a better term, freaky. In a backpack belonging to the perp, which Russ McKay was able to rip off mid-chase, were a few items that ranged from somewhat normal all the way to kind of demented. It was guessed at the time that the stalker was either homeless or just camped out for a while due to the toiletries and dirty clothes contained inside. An item inside that was the cause of some concern was a note that seemed to be threatening to murder Glenn Danzig, although Glenn himself has dismissed the severity of this in subsequent interviews since other celebrity names, such as David Byrne of the Talking Heads, also appeared in the note. Also contained in the stalker's bag were pages that were torn out of hardcore porn magazines. The pages by themselves aren't really that big of a deal as I don't generally like to kink shame, but what was reportedly attached to these pages upped the situation from bizarre to insane. Per Russ McKay, the heads of the performers on the porn pages, both male and female, were replaced with cutouts of Glenn Danzig's face. Glenn himself later disputed this claim, stating that in reality, the heads of those that originally appeared in the magazines were just scribbled out. While well, that explanation seems at least slightly more reasonable given this situation, I'm going to choose to believe that the pages with Glenn's face exist somewhere in a dusty police evidence lockup. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Things You Might Not Know. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like and a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I post a new video. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and you can see a playlist of things you might not know videos over here. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time!